Hey all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are doing some more um, AP Physics 1 free response questions, and this one is on momentum. So uh, I encourage you to pause the video, attempt to do the problem, and uh, after you've attempted it, come back and watch the video. Okay, uh, so a track consists of a frictionless arc, XY, which is a quarter circle of radius R, and a rough horizontal section, rough horizontal section YZ, Block A of mass M is released from rest at point X, slides on the curved section of the track, and collides instantaneously and inelastically with an identical block B at point Y. The two blocks move together to the right, sliding past point P, which is a distance L from point Y. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the blocks and the horizontal part of the track is mu. Express your answers in terms of M, L, mu, R, and G. Determine the speed of block A just before it hits block B. So this block I let go, it slides down... Um, with uh, the uh, no friction. So the way you always do these kinds of things is the it has all potential energy up here. Like the, the total energy up here is mgh. Well, uh, what is its height above the ref the ground here is, um, let's see, this is r, it's r, right? So that's m times g times r, right? The height, this height here is r, the radius of the circle, right? because it's a circle. So the distance here to R and distance here to here is R. All that energy goes into uh, kinetic energy at the bottom. So that has to equal its kinetic energy, which would be 1 half m v squared. The m's cancel. And so v is equal to 2 g r square root. So that's part A. Part B. Determine the speed of the combined blocks immediately after the collision. Okay, so now it collides and momentum is conserved, right? So the momentum right before it hits is mv, and that's big M. What's its velocity? We just solved it, square root of 2gr. Now this momentum has to equal its com momentum uh, after it collides. When they collide, they're stuck together. So I have 2m times the v after. So the m's cancel again. So v is equal to square root of 2gr divided by 2. Okay, So that's its velocity uh, once they've collided together. I just conservation of momentum. Momentum before, momentum after. Um, assuming that no energy is transferred to the track or the air surrounding the blocks, determine the amount of internal energy transferred in the collision. So we need to compare the energy uh, before and after. Right before the energy is all kinetic energy from uh, the block A moving, right? So it's one half block A's mass is M times its V squared, which was square root of 2GR squared. This is its kinetic energy before. And just to square it all out, uh, this becomes 2GR when I square it, gets rid of the square root, divided by 2, so that's GMR. GRM, whatever order you like to do it in. Okay, so the kinetic energy after is equal to 1 half. Now it's 2m because they're moving together. And they're moving at a velocity square root of 2gr over 2 squared. So this is 1 half mv squared again. So this is just m, the 1 half and the 2 cancel. This is uh, 2gr over 4. I just square the top, which gets rid of the square root and square the bottom. So this is mgr, or gmr over 2, right? Because that cancels. So how much did we lose? The difference is gmr minus gmr over 2. That's just equal to gmr over 2, right? So that's how much energy was lost. Lost half the energy, basically, right? Because this is over, this is 2 over 2. Just to be very clear. 2 over 2, 2 minus that is 1, so it's 1 GMR over 2. D, determine the additional thermal energy that is generated as the blocks move from Y to P. Additional thermal energy is generated. Um, So 
So we kind of have to, um, hmm. Thermal energy of generates blocks move from Y to P. Well, so it doesn't go to a stop, right? Oh, okay. So there's a couple ways you want to think about it, right? The friction is applying a force here. What's the force of friction? It's equal to mu times the normal force. And the normal force is 2mg because uh, there's two blocks stuck together that are moving together. All right, and it, they're, multi, they're going, so the work done by friction, which is the thermal energy, is the force of friction times the distance we apply. That's mu 2mg times the distance is L. So that would be um, 2 mu m g l. That's it. Okay, hope you guys found that helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.